Now, in the very first episode of this new segment, I want to call out this notion that's being floated around uh, on the left about how the Biden administration is considering giving $450,000 piece to migrants who were separated from their children. And people have asked me, what did I think of this? Mostly in the live chats. And I want to say, I think it's absolutely absurd. In fact, it's insulting. When we're living in a time right now where a lot of Americans are struggling to feed their children, not get evicted from their homes, find a way to survive, that you're thinking about giving illegal immigrants a half million dollars. You know, that's like 20 years salary of a lot of people who live here. It's probably like 100 years salary for the ones who where they come from. And I don't think it's right. Because yes, I don't believe in separating children from their parents if you don't have to. But sometimes you have to. That used to be my job when I worked for CPS, deciding when you had to. But here's the thing. These children, it's not just like, oh, they're minding their business and the U.S. government stormed in and took their kids. They were committing a crime while their children were with them. If I strapped a baby Bjorn on my chest and went in with my baby and robbed a bank... And then I got caught as I was leaving. I wouldn't get to say, you don't get to separate me from a baby. No, they would take your baby, separate you. And when you got out of prison, you could try to get it back, <laughs> but no guarantees. So I don't think this is, I think this is just tone deaf to even, even float something like this. Now I'm going to say right now, I don't know if this is something the Biden administration is actually floating, or is it just some crazy senators or congressmen? Cause fucking congressmen are fucking crazy. Half of them are just goddamn loony. Maxine Waters and, or whatever her name is, and uh, Sheila Jackson Lee and uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, all of them, whether you like them or not, they're fucking bonkers. So they'll say stuff like this. Doesn't mean it's ever going to be policy. But if this is something that's actually being suggested as policy, it is so freaking tone deaf and just stupid. Oh, these people that got separated from their children while committing a crime with their children present or when they sent their children across with just some strange adult that they paid money to. Wow, we owe them a fortune because of it. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. I mean, how, like I said, tone deaf are some politicians especially with what people are facing nowadays. Are you supposed to turn around to your base if you're a Democrat or a Republican, whatever? You know, the guy who used to have a job in the steel mill and now he's barely getting by or the uh, uh, the black family who's trying to get ahead but just can't do it. And you're going to turn to them and go, I know you're struggling, but hey, those people, they got their kid taken away from them for a while while they while they when they committed a crime. You know how many people there right now are probably grandparents caring for children of their children that are in prison right now and you're going to sell that to them? It's fucking ridiculous. It's stupid. And if anyone ever said, any politician that they can get on tape saying this on camera should just immediately resign as far as I'm concerned because it is so stupid. And here's another thing. A lot of the reasons the kids have still been separated from the parents and haven't been able to be reunified with them is two reasons. One, parents didn't come. They just sent their kids across. And they also, they always say, oh, it's so my kid will have a better life. Sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's just, I can't afford to feed my kids. So I basically sold them to somebody. Uh, so that's one of the reasons. And another reason is some of them came with their children. The children got caught. They got caught and released. But instead of going and claiming their children, they disappeared into society and they don't want to come forward because, hey, I'd have to go back to Mexico or Guatemala if I came back and claimed my children because they'd know who I am where I'm at. So I don't want to pretend like, oh, they're all victims. But I also don't want to pretend like they're all horrible people, but they were committing a crime and their child was present or they sent their child with someone who committed a crime, smuggling them across the border. That doesn't entitle them to a fortune of our money, taxpayer money. Who do you think is paying it? Politicians aren't like, we're going to take up a collection. It's going to be our pay taxes that pay that. And it is the most ridiculous, tone-deaf bunch of bullshit I've ever heard. And I think any politician that ever gets caught saying something that stupid should immediately resign.
And last but not least, I want to remind everyone that we are now doing Toy Guns for Tots. We are taking donations. We're going to run it all through this month. Then the beginning of next month, we're going to go buy all the toys. If you're not familiar, please go over to TYMPPistolProject.com. You can read a little bit of it there. There's also videos you can look at on here that I've already made that you can see what it's about. But basically, we go out and buy a lot of toy guns around Christmas and donate them to kids in need because the other agencies will not do it. They won't buy toy guns. So we do it. Uh, the first three years have been wildly successful. We filled a cargo van last time with toys and we hope to do even more this year, maybe a box uh, van uh, or a box truck, whatever they call those damn things. Uh, so go on over, help out a kid in need who actually wants a toy gun this year and we'll make a bunch of little future uh, 2A supporters very happy at Christmas time. With your help, with your donation, we will do that. And like I said, hopefully this will be the biggest year yet. So go on over, donate, and then come December 1st, we'll go do the shopping.